Oh, hello everybody. Hey, I wanted to kind of mix up, uh, mix it up a little bit with hardware and software and just show everybody something I, I didn't know and it's been pretty useful to me. I've got a router, of course, like everybody or a lot of people do, and I'm using it wirelessly. So, in my previous videos, I've showed you I'm running DDWRT on my Linksys uh, WRT160N. And there's a couple of different tools I found really helpful. I started getting low speeds and was having a few problems. And I uh, did some reading. If you go to, and I'm not sure if the Linksys uh, or your router might have this, but I'll show you something else if it doesn't. In the DDWRT, you can go to the status page and then go to the wireless page. And down on the bottom, there's a little link called Site Survey. If you click that link, what it does is bring you up a, a uh, new window called Neighbors Wireless Networks. And it scans to find out it actually displays the MAC address of their router and most importantly the <clears throat> excuse me the channel they're on so you can't have a whole neighborhood full of people on channel on one certain channel so you go through this and uh, I had a bunch of people that were on the same channel I was using so uh, it really helped me out I switched to a different channel therefore you know, getting a, a much better signal. Another trick while we're right here, if I can find it, is in, I believe, uh, no, it's not. Well, I'll tell you what, while we're on this subject, I'll show you another tool I found that's even better and it's called NSSIDER so Insider and what you do is it's a small program you just download it choose your specific uh, adapter mine's the Intel Wi-Fi Link 1000 and you push start scanning and this is much more powerful and uh, uh, just a much much better than the built-in one from the from the router and it essentially does the same thing it shows you all the wireless networks in your area what channel they're on their SSID um, as you can see right here for an example I'm on channel 5 and I've got one two three four five six others all that are detected until just now on channel 1 and then there's uh, here's one on channel 11 down here it shows you the strength of the signal and uh, the signal strength um, you know throughout time with a timeline on it so again that's called insider you just google that and uh, those are some really good useful tools I found to um, you know, make your router all it can be, or you know, without uh, resorting to more drastic measures. There's also other tools made by if you search for these Insider. Uh, the same company makes other tools that you can find out if your microwave or your cellular phone or whatever is uh, interfering with your uh, wireless signal too. So. Just a couple of quick tools there. One other thing, I'm going to hurry and try to find it since this, hopefully you'll uh, bear with me. If you go to wireless and advanced settings, there's a setting called TX Power. There it is right there. TX Power. And uh, my default is 71. For whatever reason, I uh, changed this down to 51, got a little better results, changed it to 61, kind of messed around with a little bit, 
and uh, I'm getting really good results. So uh, look for that. Look for that tool, the Site Survey Insider, and this TX Power um, to try to make your router a little bit more uh, useful and uh, working better. But this uh, Insider is a is a great tool. So hopefully somebody gets something out of this, and you guys have a great day.